Hello Spartans, I am Mrs. Brayman, one of the ninth grade counselors. Today, we will begin working on your four-year high school plan on Indiana Career Explorer. It is very important that you follow along to this video in completing your four-year plan. It is a state requirement that all students have a four-year plan by the end of their ninth grade year. You will need to save your plan for follow-up conversations with your counselor and family. At this time, you should have Homestead's course description guide open on your computer. This guide can be found on your desktop or on Homestead's website under guidance. Please log on to Indiana Career Explorer by going to www.indianacareerexplorer.org. This year, there is a new feature on Indiana Career Explorer that lets you log in using your Homestead username and password. To log into your account, click Login. You will then select the option to log in via Clever. You will then be directed to a new website where it will ask you for your high school. Please type in Homestead High School. You will see our school start to populate as you type. You will then log in with Clever, where you will be directed to log in using your Homestead student ID and password, which is your locker combo. If you are new to Homestead and have not yet created an Indiana Career Explorer account, you will not be able to log in via Clever. Please work with your advisor to create an account on Indiana Career Explorer. Once you are logged in, you will need to click on My Indiana Graduation Plan on the left panel of the webpage. Next, click on My High School Course Plan. If you already have a plan created for middle school or earlier this year, please click the edit icon next to your plan. This will allow you to revise and update your plan. If you have already submitted a plan, simply click the copy button to create a copy of the plan you made in middle school. If you have never created a four year graduation plan, you will simply need to click add new plan. You will then name your plan and click Create Plan. Everyone should now be able to see a template where you will build your four-year plan. If you take a look at the template, you will see that the plan is organized by subject area and grade level. To add a course, you will click on the plus icon under the grade you plan to take the course. Next, select the subject it belongs to. Under the course name, you will see all the course options for that subject and grade level. Please remember that if a course is two semesters long, you will need to add the course twice. Once for first semester, once for second semester. If you accidentally select the wrong course, or change your mind about a course, simply click the X icon next to the course title and it will be deleted. At this time, you will now start completing your four-year plan by entering your current ninth grade classes by subject. Again, if you are taking a full year course, you will need to add the course twice to cover both semesters. Some of you may already have courses entered into your plan from middle school. If this is the case, please make any revisions necessary so it accurately reflects your current ninth grade schedule. Students, whenever you see the save icon in the video, I want you to take a moment to scroll down to the bottom of your screen and click save. Indiana Career Explorer does not save automatically, so your work will not be recorded unless you click the save button. I encourage you to do this frequently, especially when there are a lot of students working on Indiana Career Explorer at one time. I have seen Indiana Career Explorer shut down unexpectedly and not save a student's work, so be sure to save your work frequently. When you see this save icon, it is also the perfect opportunity to pause this video and to catch up on your four-year plan if you need to. After you added your current schedule to your four-year plan, please consider any math or world language classes you took in eighth grade that might count towards high school credit. For example, if you took algebra, geometry, 
or a full year of a world language in middle school, it will automatically be included on your high school transcript. Please note that if you do not want your high school grades and courses from middle school to count towards graduation, you must inform your counselor. The school will need written permission from your parents to remove any middle school grades from your high school transcript. If you choose to repeat a course that you already took in middle school, Homestead will take whichever year you earned the higher grades. It is important to understand that a student who chooses not to bring credits from middle school still must complete credit requirements for their diploma. For example, if a student decides to not bring over their algebra grades from middle school and start geometry as a freshman, they still must earn eight credits in math. If you have more questions about this, please make sure to contact your counselor. Before moving on to the next slide, your four-year plan should have your ninth grade schedule added and any math or world language courses you took in middle school. Please know that if you have questions or are unsure of what to add, you will have the opportunity to modify your plan when you meet with your counselor individually. It is okay if it isn't perfect after today. Before moving forward with your four-year plan, you need to understand your different diploma options. Please refer to page five of the course description guide to view the different diploma types and course requirements that go along with each diploma. If you want to pursue a technical honors diploma because you plan to enter a technical career such as engineering or biomed, please note that colleges prefer to see the academic honors diploma. It is also important to know that you can earn both the technical and academic honors diploma. Please refer to this page and the diploma requirements while you map out your four-year plan. Throughout the course descriptions guide, you may see college logos such as Ivy Techs or Purdue Fort Wayne's. These symbols indicate that the class you are looking at is offered for dual credit. By taking dual credit courses, you are earning both high school and college credit. By taking dual credit, you are not only fulfilling a requirement for the academic honors diploma, but you are also saving a lot of money on college tuition. You will also be able to earn your degree faster if you have earned dual credit while in high school. All students are required by the state of Indiana to demonstrate personal finance proficiency. Homestead offers three courses that fulfill this requirement adult roles and responsibilities, personal financial responsibility, and prep for college and careers. To help you decide which personal finance class you should take, consider the following. Adult roles and responsibilities is taught through the Family and Consumer Science Department. The content of this class is geared more towards the family and social sciences. Personal financial responsibility is taught through the business department and focuses more on financial literacy from a business standpoint. Prep for college and careers is also through the business department and focuses on college and career exploration in addition to money skill activities. You also have the option of testing out a personal finance your freshman or sophomore year. This option is offered every fall. Students who take the test must earn at least an 85% or higher in order to not take a personal finance class. If you do not achieve this score by the end of your sophomore year, you will be required to take a personal finance class your junior or senior year. Please keep this option in mind when building your four-year plan. At this time, you should add a personal finance course to your four-year plan just to be safe it can always be removed from your plan if you successfully test out. The next step in completing a four-year plan is to track the progression of each of your core academic areas. We will work with one subject at a time to complete all four years associated with that subject area. Please turn to the Mathematics section of your course description guide where you will find all of the course offerings in math. You will note that math courses at Homestead are offered in a very specific sequence. All students must take Algebra, followed by Geometry and Algebra 2. 
A fourth year of math is required for the academic honors diploma, which means your next level of math would be pre-calculus with trigonometry. It is important to note that some colleges, such as IU and Purdue, require students to have taken trigonometry. After students have successfully completed pre-calculus with trigonometry, you will note that there are several math courses available for you to pick from. Please read each description carefully. Note prerequisites and choose math courses that align with your interests. Your counselor will be able to go into more detail with you about each of these courses. Before moving on to the next slide, you will need to add math courses to your four-year plan. Remember, math classes are full-year classes, so you will need to add the class twice, once for first semester and once for second semester. Next, we are going to look at your options for English. Regardless of the diploma you receive, all students are required to take an English class every semester of high school. For your sophomore year, all students must choose between English 10 and Honors English 10. Please note the prerequisites before choosing Honors English 10. For your junior and senior year, there is a great variety of classes to choose from. Please refer to the English section of the course description guide to review all your options and the requirements for each course. You will note that many of these courses are available for dual credit. It is recommended that students choose one literature and one writing class for both their junior and senior year. Please review your options carefully and select courses that will both interest and challenge you. Please keep in mind that English 11 and English 12 do not count towards the Academic Honors Diploma. Also note that there are several English courses you can take as electives, such as Journalism and Debate. Before moving on to the next slide, you will need to add English classes to your four-year plan. Pay close attention to the classes you choose as some English classes are one semester long and some English classes are a full year long. No matter what, you will need to make sure that you have an English class selected for every semester of high school. We will now focus on your social studies classes. Please turn to the social studies section of the course description guide. You will note that all students are required to take one full year of world history, one full year of U.S. history, and one semester each of U.S. government and economics. If you have not taken world history in your ninth grade year, you will be required to take world history or AP world history your sophomore year. Also pay close attention to the prerequisites for AP courses. There are several elective options available in social studies that you may consider as well. Please fill out your four-year plan with your required social studies courses and any electives that interest you. The next subject we will look at is science. You will note that all students must take two semesters of biology, two semesters of chemistry or physics, and two semesters of any science course of their choice. Some of you may be in physics first. This will fulfill your physics requirement. For those of you who wish to take chemistry or physics after this year, please remember that you must be enrolled or have already taken Algebra II. For a full list of science options and prerequisites for these courses, please refer to the course description guide. Also keep in mind that if you plan to go into a science-related field after high school, it is in your best interest to take a science all four years of high school 
even though the state of Indiana only requires three years of science. At this time, please add your science courses into your four-year plan. Please note which science classes are only one semester and which are a full year long. Now that we filled in classes for the four core areas, the next thing we will need to look at are the world languages. You will note that the Core 40 diploma does not require any world language courses. However, if you are planning to attend a college or university after high school, most colleges require at least two years of a world language in order to be considered for admission. If you are working towards an academic honors diploma, you are required to complete three years of one language or two years of two different world languages. Please fill in your four-year plan accordingly. All diplomas in Indiana require one semester of health and two semesters of PE, PE1 and PE2. PE2 can be completed using the PE waiver for certain sports or activities. For a full explanation of the PE waiver, please refer to the course description guide. The PE waiver program is worth a grade and credit. There are also health and PE electives available for you to take after you complete these requirements, such as weight and strength, scuba diving, and team sports. You will need to search under electives on Indiana Career Explorers for your plan to find these courses. At this time, please fill in your four-year plan to include health and PE. Once you've completed your four-year plan with math, English, science, social studies, and world languages, it is time to consider other elective choices offered here at Homestead. Please remember that certain diplomas, such as the Academic Honors Diploma, require fine arts credits, which can be satisfied in both the visual or performing arts department. There are also dual credit and AP requirements that may need to be fulfilled. There are many dual credit and AP courses offered here at Homestead, so please choose classes that align with your diploma type and your career interests. And remember, it doesn't hurt to challenge yourself. To better understand all your elective choices, please read through the course description guide very carefully and note prerequisites for each course. Also know that it is okay to change your mind about elective choices as you plan out your junior and senior year and begin to develop your plans for after high school. When completing your four-year plan, please keep in mind that you must account for seven class periods in a school day for each semester. Some classes your senior year may be worth more than one credit. An example of this would be our internship program, which is worth two credits, or co-op, which can be worth two to three credits. The electives available by grade level can be found under the electives section of your four-year plan. Once you click on electives, you will need to select the department in order to view all your elective options in that department. At this time, you will need to begin selecting electives. You should have 12 to 14 credits selected for grades nine through 11. Your senior year may not have as many courses due to the senior experience. For a full explanation on the senior experience, please refer to the course description guide. This is an example of what a completed four-year plan looks like for a student planning to graduate with the Academic Honors Diploma. Note it includes all the core er academic areas, world language requirements, 
and dual credit courses that satisfy the requirements for the honors diploma. Remember, if your four-year plan has a few gaps in it or you are unsure about some of your classes, that's okay. You will review your plan individually with your counselor. In the meantime, you will need to log on to Indiana Career Explorer from home and share this plan with your parents. At this time, please click Save. Do not click Submit for Approval. Doing so will prevent you from modifying your plan later on. Again, you will need to share this plan with your parents from home. If you or your parents have any questions about your four-year plan, you are always welcome to contact your counselor. Great job today, Spartans. Thank you for following along. Please feel free to refer back to this video as much as you need to as you continue working on your four-year plan.